are about the poultry diseases. There are many diseases for chicken, of which uh, some are vaccinatable, as in we can vaccinate them, and the others are not. Among those that are vaccinatable, we can vaccinate against Marex, we can vaccinate against the Newcastle disease, we can vaccinate against the infectious bronchitis, we can vaccinate against the Gumboro, we can vaccinate against the Foropox, we can vaccinate against the Forotyphoid, we can vaccinate against Mycoplasmosis, and we can as well vaccinate against infectious coriza. Other vaccines for breeders also exist on, on market like the chicken anemia and the related breeders diseases. Yeah. Uh, there are also many that are not vaccinated but are curable. But kindly not. All viral infections that are vaccinatable should be vaccinated. If you don't, your bodies are liable to die. Reason being, viral diseases are not curable. And we don't cure viral diseases. But when a bird suffers from any viral infection, we give antibiotics to mitigate against any secondary bacterial infections that may arise due to suppression of the immune system by the other viral infection or the, 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 the virus that causes that, that disease. It tends to lower the immunity of the bird, hence the bird is suffering from other bacterial and protozoan parasites. Among the bacterial infections that may affect birds uh, that have suffered <coughs> any viral infection, we have uh, the colibacillosis, the coccidiosis, Sierra D or chronic respiratory disease and the others. Then, what am I trying to say? Kind of vaccinate your birds and follow the breeder's instruction of vaccinating those birds. Reason being, the breeder knows more about his birds, about his breeds and how they are vaccinated, how diseased resistant they are, and everything about them. Then, among the vaccinatable diseases, in a case you find a bird suffering from the disease that you were meant to vaccinate, but before vaccination, kindly, first do the treatment, before vaccinating, except for four pox. With the four pox, you can first treat, vaccinate even when you see any case of a sick bird in the, in the flock before, vac, before treating. Yeah. Then, ah, uh, I don't know whether it will require us to also name some of the drugs that help in curing certain diseases, but I may begin with the, the very ones for the viral infections. Like I said, they are not curable, but to control mitig or mitigate against any secondary bacteria infection. For the case of Newcastle, if it is not in acute state, I mean, if it is in chronic state, 
You can also first vaccinate before treating. You can vaccinate by ocular application or applying in the eyes. After which, a second day or a day after vaccination, you apply there either caprocerir or aricerir. Yeah. For the case of Gumbolo, you can give Gumbo stop or any glucovit plus aricerir or any glucose plus aricerir. In the due course, you should replace the heat source that was removed. In other words, return it into the brother's house. Reason being, when the birds suffer from Gumboro, they tend to lose a lot of water due to enormous diarrhea exhibited in that time. That's the hydration. That's one. Then two, they tend to feel a lot of coldness and hence the requirement for the heat source. Then, for the case of IB or infectious bronchitis, you may get any bronchial drugs like respire and all the like or in the same category then adjust on the aeration in the poultry house in the case you are sealed off since you are seeing the brooder you have sealed off Sarah the brooding place kind of try to open up and give enough aeration to those birds turn or change litter or rake litter on a daily basis and give supportive treatment like any high doses of oxytocycline like limoxine that contains 40% oxytocycline that is when they are still young then if they are mature enough you may resort to using 100% oxytocycline also sold as limoxine 1,000 milligrams. The only difference is that the one for 40 is in a blue circuit. And the one for, for 100 is in the yellow circuit. Then, you should also consider uh, supplying or adding into that oxytocycline any plain vitamins that are available on the market. An example, we have Nutri Power, Aminovit, Aminovit, Aminovito, Cholivit, Amirite, Rita Boost, and circulated vitamins. Then, for the case, of marriage it is advisable to call to sell off the whole flock because you might end up losing the whole flock that's when you've been or you've exhibited that outbreak of marriage but in case you discover that the hatcher or the breeder didn't vaccinate those birds against marix. In the case you discover when they are still young, it is advisable for you to feed them in ad lib. To allow them eat day and night and sell off them in the first two and a half months to three months. Reason being, uh, that disease normally exhibits most especially in their third month. It normally expresses itself in their third month. 
then for the case of uh, for weropox like i said before the best treatment or supportive i uh, let me not call it treatment because there are very infections but call it supportive treatment is that you first vaccinate those birds even when they are sick get the vaccine for foropox vaccinate them then after which introduce high doses of, of oxytetracycline like i gave you the two examples of limoxins and give them starting from the second day after vaccination you give them for seven consecutive days when i talk of consecutive i mean day and night then for the case of four typhoid in the case you missed to vaccinate it and there is an outbreak or when there is an outbreak even before vaccination kindly get a drug that contains enirofloxacin a case in point is enirocure enirovet enirosol and fluoxino but the best would be fluoxino because it is 200 200 milligrams or 20 percent then apply high doses like 20 mils in 20 liters for 10 days when you finish the treatment uh, the second day after fishing i mean the eleventh day after finishing the treatment kind of vaccinate them against that for typhoid that's all about the vaccinatable diseases but for the case of mycoplasmosis being a bacteria infection as well as a vaccinatable diseases a disease in the case you exhibit that outbreak you may resort to first treat with any antibiotic that contains both vitamins and oxetracycline like oxyvitamin oxetravit and all the like if they are mature and there are no combined uh, drugs that contain those two drugs in high ratios you may resort to mixing manually getting the limoxin 40 percent or 100 percent and mixing it with any plain vitamins uh, with mycoplasmosis uh, it is only seen when you see that it, the bird are exhibiting poor inhalation or dyspnea not easily inhaling air uh, dro drooling from the nose as in there is any muca there is some mucus leaches from the nose and the head has swollen the whole head the facial has swollen totally there you resort to doing so then for the case of infectious coriza with infectious coriza the cardinal sign you would see would be swollen either unilateral or by or bilateral swelling of the eye bilateral ocular swelling or unilateral ocular swelling where when you squeeze that eye you see a cheesy white she material coming out of that eye there you suspect infectious coriza the best treatment would be ESB3 or erythrolate 35 after which you vaccinate against the same disease then i didn't give you some of the cardinal signs for the previous diseases for the case of newcastle you would see a greenish diarrhea or discharge then you would see coughing and some respiratory errors but even other birds can exhibit coffee i mean other diseases cannot exhibit coughing the case in point is mycoplasmosis infectious coriza infectious bronchitis uh, even hermesiasis 
or the birds being affected by the worms, most especially the gap worm. Yeah, the one that are, that normally that normally attacks birds, most especially in the upper JIT, in this region of the trachea. Then in other words, in, in other signs of Newcastle, the birds tend to exhibit torticollis, especially in chronic Newcastle. They turn their necks upwards. They somersault and they can move backwards. Then, uh, for the case of IBO infectious bronchitis, I talked about Newcastle infectious bronchitis. Uh, Gumboro. With the Gumboro, the birds, I talked about them feeling so cold. They are slow to move. You see white shidaioria that is peste at the vent and sticks at the vent. Then the birds are unable to eat, are unable to walk, are unable to drink. Within no time, they start dying at the highest speed. And you may lose the whole flock if you don't do uh, the supportive treatment as early as one hour. The first time you see that first case. Then for the case of uh, the rest I've explained. Then besides those uh, vaccinatable diseases, other diseases include coccidiosis. This one we have both sicko and intestinal coccidiosis. With sicko coccidiosis, it normally affects the sicam. And it is more of white diarrhea, not peste, like in Gumboro, not sticking, like in Gumboro, but just white diarrhea. And those birds also droop their wings. They become unthrifty. They are unable to eat. Uh, as in, there is a drop. In eating, but it does not kill as fast as the gumbolo.